Hello lovely soul, this is Infinity and thank you for joining me for this channeled guided astral meditation for the new moon for April 2021. It is April 11th, it is currently 5.12 p.m. in the Pacific and we are going to get into this channeled guided meditation and what that means is that I don't uh, structure, design, architect this uh, meditation or any of my meditations for that matter. I am just guided to get into a meditation and facilitate it and I channel whatever information comes through about the meditation or actual channeling that can happen as well. I usually work with our Mother Earth Gaia in these meditations, but uh, angels, archangels, dragons, um, galactics, fae, uh, ascended masters can all come through uh, just to let you know. And in my meditations, uh, what's important to understand about that is that we are really going into uh, we get into body, but we also uh, usually travel to some place uh, that's nature themed as Gaia is the one who uh, designs these meditations. I feel her as the 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 real the real facilitator of this meditation, to be honest with you, and I am basically the one that brings it through. Uh, but Aside from Gaia, anybody can come through that uh, that is of the light. And uh, again, I I don't know ahead of time basically much of anything when I get into these meditations. Sometimes I have a little bit of an understanding, but usually I I there's not much there. So I always go into it just like you do, don't really know what to expect um, or how long it's going to be or who's going to show up or what's going to be said for any of the meditations I do. I just, you know, like I said, I just am guided to do them to show up and to um, jump in basically. So before we do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to read you an Oracle card. I was guided to pull a card from the Hidden Worlds Oracle as I was sitting here preparing for this meditation and the card that I pulled was the green man card number eight. Is this 18? Yeah. 18 from the hidden worlds Oracle. So I'm going to read this uh, to you and then we'll get started. So card number 18, the green man rising energy surge fertility, no matter how young or old we are, no matter how settled or unsettled we may seem to be, the cycles of the planet are inside of us and we cannot escape their magic. For now, it is the time of the green man and the call to rise and reach for the light has come again. The nature within you is rising. Just as the green man of the spring awakens the seeds and calls to the sap to rise in the world outside of you, within you is a world, a system of branches and leaves and shimmering light, all of which is longing to be rediscovered and experienced once again. After the time of stillness, after the quiet of the contemplation comes the growth and the action and the wisdom of the trees within. You have inside of you the keys to speak to the trees and the flowers, to rise earlier, rest deeper, feel the song of the soul, hear the song within you and feel the song of the world inside of you, outside of you, beneath your feet. It is time to take off your shoes and place your feet back into the earth to let the guidance of the green man help you to choose what you eat and what you drink and to grow again dear child of the earth never forget that while you are surely made of the stars you are born of the earth and this earth is a blessing and full of joys lie in the sun tend to the garden inside and in the world 
grow something, start, start something yourself, reach out like the plants and move towards the sun. Let the light within you grow brighter and come from a place where you felt safe. For now, it is time to expand into the world and let nature be your guide and let the shining life within you warm all that is about you. And the illumination mantra, I welcome this time of growth and expansion. I reach for the light. Oh, that is a good one. I love this card. I love every single card in this deck, to be honest with you. So I always say that. Um, and I, when I picked this just a couple minutes ago and I was skimming this um, first, I was guided to read a little bit of it before we before I started recording. I was just thinking about how it's, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is... Uh, becoming springtime or it is springtime I should say officially and it is warming up and sunny and the flowers are blooming and grass is growing and it's just you know birds are singing and it's just a really really beautiful magical time energy wise um, to connect with Gaia and of course the green man and so this is about uh, raising your vibration, connecting with Gaia, connecting with this, um, with the uh, divine masculine energy of the green man. And so something to think about is, you know, we, regardless of our sexual orientation or, you know, any kind of preferences we need both the male and the female components to make babies regardless of the actual you know uh way that comes to be we absolutely need to um to have both components and so with our energy within us we have the divine masculine the divine feminine with god it's always um kind of talked of as a he as it being this masculine energy force uh but truly our source creator is mother father god not just father god it's mother father god um, if we didn't have the mother component, the female component to anything or any of us, it would not exist. Um, and same goes for the male component. We need both of them to create um, life. And so with the green man, we're being asked to uh, balance our divine masculine divine, and divine feminine energies to connect with Gaia um, and that that beautiful feminine energy but to also see and feel that vital life force the fertility the creativity the connecting to yourself and to everything around you kind of thing um, and that we are full of light and that it is time to expand so this is about expansion um is is a big thing that i'm hearing right now is the need to ground and expand so those are two they're not opposing but they're they're going it's like going deep so grounding is really if you think about it getting your if you could with your feet and that's how it talked about it's time to get your feet into the soil into the earth um and then also feet and then when you do that you tap back in with your with your life force energy with the energy within you and and then you know all the branches the system of branches like it talked about and so you can see yourself as a tree, as expanding your, your roots into the earth and expanding your, uh, your arms into, into branches and leaves, soaking up the photosynthesis of the sun and growing and, and changing and developing. Um, so I can see us probably getting into something like that with this meditation. We'll see. But those are the visions that I'm getting right now. So the message from this oracle is is connecting to nature. I guess that, that would be the, the headline, connect to nature. 
uh, take yourself to that to that place and um, and allow for the unfoldment to happen allow for the um, the process to unfold kind of thing like it's not we can't push the the seed to become a little sapling or a big tree it just it grows as it's meant to and we give it light we give it water we give it nutrients and nurturing and all that good stuff but we um we certainly uh need to give it patience and time to grow so that's also a, a big part of it there is to think about that so spend a couple minutes thinking about that feel free to pause this uh, recording here and just spend a couple minutes thinking about connecting with nature connecting with Gaia connecting with the green man what it means to connect with with nature with the trees with wildlife um, with the sun with the air with the the earth with the elements of water and and air and earth and fire and how you do all that um, and set your space if you haven't already try to light some candles if you have them uh, tea lights are great or anything that you have is always good for um, doing meditation to, to, to light some candles have that any incense um, you can light your incense or or get a diffuser going with some uh, some essential oils and then gather whatever crystals you may be uh, guided to bring in with you or have around you create a little crystal grid around you you can be in the seated position or like on a chair or a cross-legged I would suggest though at least starting this meditation sitting up um, in one way or another so you don't get too relaxed and go too deep and and have a hard time consciously remembering um and that's it. And we will get started here in just a moment. Okay, so let's get into our meditation again in the seated and from the seated position, however that is most comfortable for you. Uh, so if you're sitting cross-legged or you're in a chair, uh, if you're on a bed or a couch or anything like that, just make sure that your butt and your lower back is supported. So if you could uh, lift up your hips and your butt uh, with a pillow or a, or a bolster of some kind, a yoga um, cube, anything like that would be great. Just um, make sure that your, your bottom is nice and supported so you don't sink into your, into your lower back and, and you kind of roll into your pelvis, that kind of thing. Aside from that, want to make sure that your spine is straight, your shoulders are down and back, your chin is up, your, that everything is in alignment. There isn't anything uh, anywhere that's, that's off center, that you're not leaning forward, leaning back, anything like that. And with that, we are going to uh, just start to get into your breathing. In and out through the nose. At this time, I want to welcome you in officially. Thank you so much for being here for this new moon meditation. Uh, I'm hearing light integration and um, soul encodements i'm hearing that coming through now so i want to thank you for being here i want to thank your guides and guardians for guiding you here today i want to welcome them in very specifically your guardian angels welcome welcome all the archangels all the the uh angelic realms this is the month and the Stargate for divine connections, for connecting with our guardian angels and archangels and just all of the angelic, 
angelic realms, including uh, the dragons there of, of angelic origin. And and then think about the elements as well, all the 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 different elements and please include technology within with that as an element um, the fifth element that is something that came down directly from Gaia over the last couple of guided meditations um, and I will be doing a whole separate video on that but um, just to think about technology really being um, an element that we're all connected to it's in the world and um, it is natural it's a natural way that that we're receiving information and connecting to each other like we are right now through this podcast or this youtube video or however you're getting this this message so to think about that and um, but just let's take it back to thinking about your guardian angel they're coming back to me right now. So whether or not you have a relationship, you are really in tune with with your guard with any of your guardians, any of your your spirit guides, but it's really your guardian angel. They're the ones that have been with you since before you were born. They're the ones who are going to be with you your entire life. They're the ones that are going to be with you as you cross over when this life ends and help you um process it afterwards that they've been here this whole time so it's like a coach you have to see that <laughs> they're saying we're like coaches and um and they're constantly working with you giving you information running interference working with the miracle angels and the healing angels and the archangels and creating protection and a perimeter around you uh helping you to manifest helping you to connect with gaia and the abundance matrix and the light inside of you and really leading the way to your soul because you as a human you as a person the spirit and the soul um inside of you is for most of us um not something that we're really we really understand we're really connected to that we really feel unless you know we're feeling like it's it's like a life or death kind of thing or a lot of us a lot of people um see connecting to their soul as something to do when they die and it's really what needs to be done when we're alive so we can live our best lives and be um guided by our soul that is really the the true connection here that we're all really looking for ascension spiritual our spiritual connections but really when we connect with our with our um with our souls is when we can you know really have our vibration get higher and higher and higher because we're uh being guided by our our highest aspect and um and that is really the ultimate. But to do that, we need to be connected. We need to be clear. We need to be in flow and, and have alignment and be, be really in, an integral part of nature to be able to, um, to be natural <laughs> for ourselves. And that's what it, it really means when we are connected with our souls, that we are uh in a natural state that is the most natural thing being in body but being in body and coming from and working from the aspect of our souls so taking all that into account let's take a few deep breaths in and out of the nose just to align yourself in your space whatever crystals you have with you even if they're just a couple little ones or big ones whatever they are there or if you're surrounded by them just connect with your crystals hold the crystals that you brought with you or get them near you just touch them connect with them And we are going to start working with our chakras here. So 
Uh, and I'm feeling that we're going to do this pretty rapidly. We're not going to spend too much time getting into each one individually. Um, sometimes we do, but what I'm seeing here now is that I want you to just really tune in to all of your main seven chakras. So root, sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. So root is red. Sacral is orange. Solar is yellow. Heart is green. Throat is blue, like sky blue. And third eye is an indigo, purpley blue. And then crown is the violet. So the violet color of our crown. So the spectrums of, of the rainbow there. Want to tap in with our bodies. Think about our chakras, starting at root, which is at the very base of our spine, and then sacral right above that and right below the belly button. Then solar is at the belly button. Heart is in the chest, takes up the entire chest up into the shoulders, down your arms. Don't forget your back, so your heart chakra all through your chest, back, shoulders, shoulder blades, all the way up this entire area from um, that midsection up right above your where your solar plexus is with that belly button area and that entire kind of if you put your hand if you outstretch your hand over your belly button and just let all your fingers be as big as they can um, and just think about that entire diameter of area um, from your around your your belly button and your lower back so that's all your solar plexus and just above that is where your heart chakra begins and so it's a lot of space in the body the whole chest the shoulders the arms the hands again the shoulder blades your shoulder your heart chakra is also um, going to be coming out of your rhomboid area your shoulder blade area on both sides so as we expand our heart chakras and they get bigger they uh the heart chakra in the third eye is not there isn't a cap off there isn't like okay we're done it's all the way open now or it's it's as big as it's gonna get uh those are the two chakras within the body that just keep on expanding expanding uh, so when we think about the heart chakra it's not something that just gets so big and stops or fills up or gets so bright and then it's done it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger how you have more and more capacity for love to receive love to give love unconditional love we use love for healing, so we heal from the heart chakra, um, and that's why it's connected to our arms and our hands. So as we heal, we're sending healing energy out through our hands, whether we do distance energy or we're touch ener touch healing, whatever that happens to be. Um, uh, think about that whole all that energy going through your arms and your hands. And so when you think about your your heart chakra and your shoulder blades and your uh, that whole rhomboid area, think about it opening up like unzipping. So from the very top of your shoulder blades all the way to the very bottom and right there at your rhomboid, think about opening up that, those channels of energy so the or those areas within the physical body so the energy from your heart chakra can go out of that, that space um, on both sides. And what this is what's called your energetic wings. And it's mostly with your heart chakra. Now, of course, because you're all one big energy system, of course, there's energy that's connected to, you know, your whole body there with your wings. But mostly it is exclusively your, uh, your heart chakra. And so just imagine this energy coming out both sides of your back and uh either unfurling or or the um the energy coming out kind of like lightning or whatever it is that you may see for yourself here with your uh with your heart chakra so just take a minute and feel into that and what it may look like what it may may feel like 
as you open up those channels of um of energy physically and just let it and just tell your heart chakra move through my back and go out of my my wing area and let that um let that start to to do that if this is something that's that you're really familiar with because you've done my my meditations before just work with that energy you know what you're doing and a lot of people come to me with a uh, the complaint of upper body um specifically upper back and shoulder pain exactly where i'm just talking about and this is always the reason we have a a closed off heart chakra that's just like you, you put a cap on it and it's not meant to have a cap on it the physical body automatically um, unless you are intentional with that energy the physical body will trap it so you'll get really uh, people get i did for years before i knew what was going on i would it was really really bad so anyway so think about that energy and um if if you suffer from upper back pain shoulder pain rhomboid pain it acting up this being an issue this is your heart chakra and this is something you need to do on a regular basis is think about your heart chakra energy opening up expanding it through your body through your shoulders through your hands and your arms and your hands through your back and that shoulder blade area okay so um moving up into the throat so the throat chakra being like a sky blue color where so it's going to take over that entire throat area go down into the chest a little bit like to your clavicles up into your face uh, with your heart chakra so you'll feel that up into your jaw up through your nose and your ears even the back of your neck will all of that will be um will be felt by the throat chakra so just tap in with that and then next is your third eye uh so we want to think about your third eye. your third eye is made up of the exact same tissue and cells and mechanisms as your two regular eyes it's just in your brain um, so, so the way to tap into that, just imagine this third eye, um, and it's going, so like create a triangle between your first, your left eye and your right eye and have them meet at a point inside your head. That would be your pineal gland or your third eye. And instead of it just being this gland looking thing that of course doesn't actually, you know, have an eyelid or anything like that, imagine that it does and see it as an eye, an eyeball and with an eye with eyelids and that you actually open it up and just work on opening up that um, that chakra your third eye chakra and just see it like you would imagine your eye opening up and 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 you can imagine it like being really bright at first so you're kind of squinting it's kind of going slow but you're as you acclimate to the light you just let you let your eyes get bigger and bigger so same thing here So just think about your three eyes blinking in unison, being open, um, and kind of at this time, think about closing your two eyes like they are and closing them and then just that third eye being open and really um, kind of exaggerate what it might look like. You can even think of it kind of cartoony, like really big and with a big eye, eyelids and eyelashes and looking all around and opening up. And as you do this, um, just think about the energy within your head expanding, uh, connecting. So like little tendrils of energy um, going through your skull and just reaching out into the ether to pick up on on psychic impressions and visions and and knowing um, really using all the clairs so clair audience clair sentience clair cognizance um, and what am I missing <laughs> 
uh, I know there's also clear empathy, but anyway, the clairs. So think about all of that and just turning all of all of that on your inner knowing, your psychic, just w- however you feel, whatever that is, telepathic or psychic, and and understanding that that's energy coming in and going out. Same way that that our internet and our Wi-Fi is sending energy through the air, so do we. It's not that that strange of a concept to think of us being receivers we're energetic we're receiving we're sending all of the time so we're coming online we're sending out our third eye energy out past our heads and just reaching out into the ether so just see that going on and then lastly with your crown chakra uh see your see this violet light um and it's And it's circular, it's above your head, about three to four inches. And that's also where your halo is. So I always see the halo is this golden, coppery, vibrant, bright, energetic circle that's just moving with like the head of it, like moving um, slowly, but definitely moving. And it's counterclockwise above your head. And as you, as long as you have life force in your body, your crown chakra is going to be doing this pattern with with the halo, with the light going around. Um, You can work to make it much bigger. And in healings and stuff that I do, it gets really, really big. That halo and the whole crown chakra can actually um, pass through like shoulder width um, with that energy. So you can just think about that getting nice and bright and big. And then now just turning everything on, um, getting everything from your root all the way to your crown. And you could see them as like different controls for these different chakras or one big control, one big dial and just turning them all up at the same time. Uh, what I what I like to call fuzzy energy, and that is when, you know, it's getting brighter and brighter, but it's just... Um, It's very light around you. They blend together. So your root chakra, your your sacral, your solar, your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown. Just see them all getting nice and bright and blending in with each other and creating this big, beautiful, uh, radiant kind of sphere of rainbow color here with your red all the way up to the violet then I want you to see it like swirling around you really creating this bubble so this energy is coming out from inside of you but it's as it does that as it expands out from your body so see the energy really expanding out from your body for all of these chakras and then blending together in that energetic space outside of your body and then swirling together and creating this beautiful sphere, this beautiful, beautiful bubble of energy around you. And just allow yourself to feel into this. And then I'm seeing our angels, your guardian angel, and call in the archangels. Whomever, uh, if there's anybody particular, you can call them in. But just first and foremost, I'm seeing your guardian angel, your healing angel, and your miracle angel coming in very tight around you. And then we can call in Archangel Michael and Gabriel and Metatron and Uriel and Haniel and Azrael um sandal fawn metatron jophiel whomever else um you want to call in or you feel with you they're going to be on the second perimeter so it's your 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 three uh guardian angels so your your main guardian angel healing angel miracle angel right around you just fortifying the spheres fortifying this bubble of energy with their divine light so just take that in and then the outer layer would be your uh archangels 
um, and just feel them coming in and just expanding the energy around you. We want to allow for the density, anything that's um, concrete and material, hard or in our space, and just uh, imagine it uh dissolving just disappearing and that it's just you in this beautiful rainbow light coming from your own body your own life force and your angelics and the archangels around you creating this big beautiful bubble all around you everything else disappears it's just them you and mother gaia And she's showing me, please think about taking all of this energy and like drilling it down into her body um, energetic, energetically and like with the light, just that we're just going to push the energy that is all around you, target it like a laser and think about it going down into Gaia and her receiving your energy and as the as this beautiful rainbow light starts to penetrate the earth and the soil um it's like solidifying and kind of like roots but it's like crystalline root um like like when i say roots i mean like root of a tree uh but it's a it that it's like lit up and crystalline as it goes into the body of Gaia and just let it go and feel it flowing from the top of your head with your crown chakra and going all the way down passing through all of your chakras and through this beautiful sphere and just drilling this energy down below you and imagine and envision Gaia just soaking this in. And as the energy goes into Gaia, connecting with the abundance matrix, the crystalline grid within her body, lighting it all up. And imagine your brothers and sisters around the world. They're doing this meditation whenever they are. And their energy is in this beautiful sphere. And they're taking their energy and pushing it down, drilling it down, targeting it down into Gaia, solidifying that, having it turn to crystalline. These roots are crystalline as they go down and just see and feel your brothers and sisters uh, of the collective of the light all around the world. And I'm seeing a pattern like the, the flower of life going like superimposed um starting in the center like if you could slice into Gaia and pull her apart like top and bottom and then the the flower of life uh sliding in there in the center and then putting the top part of Gaia back on so we have the flower of life in the center and then if you think about your brothers and sisters of the collective all around uh, the world and think about the different points and how the flower of life just expands and expands and expands and think about within each of those uh, those spheres that we have a connection and in that connection um, spot uh, we have or point I should say we have a we have a an incarnate um one of you lovely souls that is doing this and connecting with gaia so just imagine that there's just uh that this is taking place not only with you but with so many people uh around the world connecting with gaia in this way connecting with their energy and their angelics and sending this energy down into the center of Gaia and wherever you feel, whatever point you're at to just connect with that flower of life that is in, that's uh, coming from the center of her body. And as you do that, it lights up and it lights up all throughout the flower of life 
that is within her body. And now I'm seeing this vision uh, to imagine, like take, let's take a seat. I'm seeing us, um, what are we doing here? We are like walking, it's nighttime, it's dark. We're walking through like a, a meadow, a forest. It's not super dense though. Um, and we're gonna come out to like a clearing and there is I'm trying to see here okay it is the ocean I was like is this a lake an ocean where are we just see big body of water and us sitting on the shore so um as we're coming out from this meadow and this foresty area we're making our way to the ocean there's like cliffs so um we're gonna work our way down uh climbing down and making our way to the ocean to the beach and again it's it's dark it's nighttime but we can see it is the full moon so it's showing me that it's gotten brighter all of a sudden she's saying no i want you to be thinking of the full moon time and think of the last full moon it was on the 28th of of march and if you can't think about, you know, where you were, or what you did or what transpired, just think about the last couple of weeks and um, and just the cycle going from. Excuse me, going from. Full moon to new moon where we are now. And so she's saying just sit on the shore and see the full moon in the sky and then imagine it just goes from night to night to night to night we're seeing each night that moon um uh waning and getting the light part getting smaller and smaller and smaller through the through the cycle and where it's sitting in the sky or just watching this whole progression with the moon going from bright to dark and um and then just how the the energy flows and how it feels and and all of that just to be conscious of this cycle and our own cycles uh, within the cycle of of this beautiful uh, moon energy and so we find ourselves all the way to the new moon so that's going to suspend in the sky for us uh so even though she's not all lit up we can still see the moon um and we want now i'm being directed take a look at the ocean see how the waves uh are coming in and there's a rhythm to the waves crashing forming and rolling and then crashing uh, whether they're big or small and we want to tune in with this energy of the water coming in and out and we want to think about uh realigning rejuvenation recalibration reset this type of energy connection um it, this is what's coming here so with each wave that crashes on the shore we are regulating our energy getting it back into uh, a neutral state a connected state with gaia a connected state with the moon here with this new moon with each wave that crashes, we have the intention of opening up, of releasing, of receiving. So the mantra around here, I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. So that's coming up here. So just repeat that a few times here. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. 
and allow for the energy that's in you to seep into the sand on the shore uh, and just see it light up as you release energy into the sand um, there at the shore just see it ripple down going down into the water and the waves crashing picking up that energy and drawing it into the ocean and you just letting go and releasing all this energy and again think about your brothers and sisters of the collective and them on their own private beautiful shore and them doing this exact same thing releasing energy and as we do this all around the world uh, the energy is transmuted everywhere everybody is healing everybody is clearing and releasing everybody is connecting with Gaia those that are not even um, don't meditate that are not thinking about the new moon at all on a certain soul level because we're all connected they are and and Gaia is very um, like subliminally sending her motherly messages release to me I will receive your burdens I will clear your energy I will send up healing energy to you so as you're releasing down into the the earth into the sand as you see it going down and rushing towards the water the water picking it up and pulling it in um, see again the energy coming up from the earth and you soaking it up like I'm seeing how there's those um, oh what is that the uh, when the when the this there are the I want to say sea urchins but that's not it they're the, the little microorganisms that light up at night on beaches and they're literally there's these beautiful um usually they're bluish in color so anyway that's what i'm seeing here so as the as you're releasing this energy and it's rippling down going through the sand making its way down to um the water and the water hitting it and then pulling it in the energy is coming straight up from beneath you and it's just beautiful and it lights up all around you and you're just gonna let yourself soak that in and just bring that into your field breathe that in so it's like pulses of light coming up beneath you you're feeling that energy as it pulsates it comes up your entire body and what you're going to do is just see and feel it connecting to each one of your main chakras, those seven chakras, and sending a pulse throughout your entire body all the way to the tip of, tip of your fingers, tips of your, your toes, your nose, the top of your head, everything that, that's coming up and through Gaia, through the earth, pulsating through you and going through all every single molecule of your body and again uh, each time this happens you're sending energy back down so there's this real uh, rhythm to this to the energy um, leaving and the energy coming in so let the energy go down see it rippling away and through the sand and rocks and going down to the water as the wave crashes on the shore it picks up your energy and pulls it into the water effectively clearing it healing it transmuting that energy soaking it all in and then Gaia sends up a pulse of energy through um, her body directly beneath you and you feel it going all the way through your body all the way through your legs your torso your arms your chest your back your head your scalp everything everything So take a few deep breaths as we do this again I release I receive I remember I rise and we are being very intentional about um, picking up on these energies that are coming through Gaia
and she's um she's pointing at all different things in nature right now and saying it's so important to connect to me in all the different ways that you can through the elements going out into nature bringing nature in um, into your space connecting with each other going into meditation to meet with her as often as you possibly can to meet with your angelics she's showing me the stargate and she's saying it's um we're close to the end here with this new moon it's like this um massive reset button energetically to really help us flush out and detox our bodies um, while we're in this stargate uh, some for some of us this new moon is on the 11th officially for some it's on the 12th she says either way we're so close to the end of the stargate where timelines are solidifying and and so at this time it's really important the 11th 12th 13th and then 14th to really think about these last few days of the stargate with this new moon energy to really think about it like a flushing of energy a reset of energy a control alt delete a powering off and a powering back on kind of thing um and she's saying kind of similarly to what like eclipse energy is like but in a different way because it's of course not an eclipse but it this this eclipse is very i mean sorry this new moon is has a lot of fire energy so it's kind of like she's saying the fire energy because we're in aries with our sun we're in aries with our moon um and the, you know so aries is fire and so she's kind of showing me how this fire is uh kind of acting like the sun and the eclipse with with the new with the new moon she says of course it is different but that uh we are to see and understand that energy um because it's very similar to eclipse energy in this in the sense of reset and resetting with our and calibrating with our soul with our guides and guardians with gaia herself with the sun with the moon as we're in this uh fourth month of 2021 really um now I'm seeing a, a pool and a diving board, a springboard, and somebody just, you know, jumping on it and, and it getting, you know, that, that energy of jumping um, on the springboard and then diving in. And it's like, this is about this right now is the energy where you're building momentum and you're jumping on the diving board before you dive in. That's what this especially a uh, fourth month and fourth stargate of 2021 is about it's about like that building of rhythm and momentum and um kind of setting yourself balancing yourself resetting yourself with every jump on the springboard and then we will jump and she's pointing at the full moon she says full moon jump and at the end of the month we're going to be getting into may um and she says that is truly the jumping point for so much energy that's going to be coming in for for us especially those of us who work really intensely intentionally and uh connected um to our guides and guardians for our ascension for our soul connections um for our healing for our giving and receiving and all of that like this is really um for those of us that are working on that on our spirituality on our health and wellness on our connections on our direction and really where we're being called to go and be and do from the soul position is what this energy is all about so she says take one last look up into the sky and she says she wants you to really feel into this new moon energy see it as a reset see it as a restart recalibration 
acclimation to these incoming energies um and we uh hold on i want where i'm seeing the energies the pulses of energy um now uh they're being Oh, okay. Hold oh, There's a lot going on here. So we want to see ourselves that, you know, here on this, on the beach, releasing energy going into the water and, and the waves pulling that energy in, transmuting it, healing it, um, and letting it flow through the water and to go as it will naturally at the same time, pulses of energy coming up through the crystalline grid, up through the abundance matrix, um, hitting you, um, and coming up through your entire system. And of course we're seeing that new moon in the sky. It is nighttime, but, um, I got to fast forward here, fast forward into daytime. So magically daytime, we have the sun. So picture the sun at 12 o'clock, you're on the beach. The sun is sparkling off of the water. Uh, it's perfect. This, the, the air, um, smells del just perfect and beautiful and, and that, wonderful sea spray is hitting you the air is just it feels so good the sun feels so nice and warm just like you're getting kissed a million times all over your skin with the sun and the energy and how it makes you feel and um you're gonna look down at your body and see yourself sparkle imagine that your inside is shimmering through your skin and your inside is crystalline because that is what it is. We're changing from carbon to crystalline. And she's pointing at this. She's saying, look, your, your body, your very DNA, the structure is ch changing from carbon to crystalline. You are reflective and refractive like a crystal. You're sparkly and glittery. So see your yourself in the sunlight see yourself super 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 sparkly and just reflecting and just the the rainbow uh light coming from you and it just um soaking into your entire body ch charging up all of your chakras then pulsating with energy and then we're going to get a count of 10, 10 pulses from our sun, from our soul star um, coming at us um, in, I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to pace them out, but I'm getting that we're getting 10 pulses of light coming straight from the sun into our crystalline bodies. And we're going to soak that up. And with each time you're to tell yourself that you are receiving these light and soul codes, this activation for reset and downloads and upgrades and activations and all that good stuff. Okay. So we're going to start with a count of one and feel that pulse hit you let it come through and um, just go out like a ripple effect throughout your whole body and take a deep breath and two same thing feel that shock wave of the energy going through the, out your whole body and let it go and Three, again, hitting your body. So each time, pay attention to some other place on your body, some place you're directed to. And four, hitting your body, feeling it through your body, your chest, your throat, the top of your head, your forehead, your stomach. And five, feel that energy hit your body. Feel it this time in your bones, all the way through your bones, lighting up your bones, crystalline bones, crystalline bones. And six, feel it hit your body. Think about all of your organs, all of your organs, from your kidneys to your liver to your stomach, all of your digestive system, up to your lungs and your heart. And seven, 
feel that pulse of light coming and hitting your body. Think about your nervous system this time. Think about it lighting up your nervous system, the branches of your nervous system all the way through your body, lighting it up and resetting, clearing and healing. And eight, feeling it hit your body. See it hit your the biggest organ of your body, your very skin in where everything is coming out of and you can see it so feel it rippling through your entire skin um, from your face your scalp all the way through your through um, the the layers of skin your front of your body the back of your body all the way your palms your legs all the way down to your feet and just again feel that energy just pulsating and each time you've gotten brighter and brighter shimmering brighter and brighter and nine coming at you feel that hit your body and soak it all the way through every every everything i'm hearing blood let's think of your blood now let's think of this energy going throughout your body with your blood light it up with this energy from the sun releasing receiving as it goes and just imagine this lit up crystalline blood going through um, your entire body, feeding oxygen to your muscles, to your organs, to your skin, everything in your body. And 10, last pulse of energy coming through. Again, just hitting the entire body, this force field of energy going through your skin. Now it's just gonna, it's just showing me rippling down through your skin, your bones, your nerves, your organs, all the way through to your energy centers. And it's going, and now it's separating into your different energy centers, your root, your sacral, your solar, your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown chakra. It's split up and taking residence within each of these ener energy centers um, I'm kind of seeing it kind of burrowing in like a seed so let that happen throughout all of your energy centers this big bright energy seed is kind of what I'm seeing what the word that I'm hearing here and what it's looking like and then with your own energy that you just got all these pulses of energy feel it feel this like churning this like um kind of uh out like from your back and then kind of coming around you like you are going to wrap like you're putting on a jacket and you wrap that jacket around you or a blanket around you and you're going to do that um, with this energy just wrap it up around you and really push it in solidify it with your body with your energy centers feel it all the way through deep breaths through here and just know you're receiving these light codes from the sun these pulses from mother earth gaia that reset energy from our beautiful moon and all of that releasement that you're that you let go into the water and um so gaia can take from you she's saying that um just to continue to have this idea of releasing and receiving even after you get out of this meditation when you go to sleep um, the next time you go to sleep at night um, whether it's tonight or tomorrow whenever it is that you may do this meditation to think about um let just taking yourself back to this beach see yourself constantly releasing energy into this into the sand see it um, ripple like falling down the sand go making its way to the to the the water's edge and the the waves picking it up and pulling it into Gaia and at the same time those pulses of light just she's just showing me just take yourself there before you go to sleep again that you can't do this too much she says you cannot do this too much feel free to 
to do this entire meditation over again um, as often as you like because it really will help you to uh, release energies, receive energies, acclimate the energies. Really, it really will help you to uh, transition from that carbon to that crystalline. You are crystal, so see yourself as crystal. See yourself lit up and sparkling. See yourself connected to the divine and divine flow of of all knowing love and faith and trust coming out from you and into the universe and the universe coming in it's like a mutual hug and and just let yourself fall into it and let the universe come in and hold you at the same time so it's you falling into this and allowing to be supported without without putting any effort into it whatsoever. You just you just fall into it, lean into it, allow yourself to be supported with this energy as often as as you're guided to and don't put it off. Do it as often as feels good, as often as you're guided to, to allow your body to really uh bring in this energy and solidify it into your field and remember we only have a few days left to the stargate this is the time to clear and release as much as you possibly can to meditate to cut cords to connect with your guides and your guardians so you can be led um, to the people places and tools uh, that are good for you to help you transition into your purpose into your evolved self your growth your evolution is all about being open releasing receiving knowing and continuing with the process again and again and again we're never done remember that we're never finished with any of this stuff so with that said she just wants you to stay in this space as long as feels comfortable for you think about whatever may come up for you whatever symbols whatever stories whatever experiences whatever people may come up for you this will be the time where you will be shown what it is you need to release what you need to pay attention to uh, what is holding you back? What are the constructs, the stories, the the um, the illusions that may um, come up for you? That is that may say, no, this is false. These are programs and stories that need to go. We're releasing right now. Receive these pulses of light. Receive these um, these energies coming in to. Uh, help with your uh, with your evolution your your change from carbon to crystalline and to, when you do that you automate to do or to do that you have to release the lower level energies and densities that keep your vibration lower because you cannot turn to a crystalline body if you're low in vibration so that's why we, we release the energy we receive the pulses to to re literally rewire our structure and then allow for the integration of the light codes to come in. So it is a process. The more you're intentional about it, the more often that you connect like this and do this type of work, the better it's going to be, the quicker it's going to happen, but you have to be very intentional about it. And really think about the times of the month where these types of things really happen and are very um, intense, like new moon, full moon, eclipses, and things like that. So again, she wants you to stay here in this space for as long as you feel comfortable here on the shore of this beach. Really take it in. Really um, look around. She says even get up, walk around, like take yourself on a little adventure here. If you so choose, um, see what comes up for you. Take note of it, but, but just don't rush it. And again, feel free to come back to this meditation as often as you like. Even if it's two weeks out from this new moon, it doesn't matter. We're doing it on the new moon. 
moon, but it doesn't just need to be done for the new moon. This can be done at any time to help you um, receive these pulses of energy from Gaia and from the sun and to release the energies and to really work to um, solidify that crystalline structure within you so you can really um, be such a um, an instrument of the divine of spiritual connection okay dear beautiful one with that i will say my goodbyes i want to thank you and your guides and guardians gaia of course the archangels everybody of your spirit tribe yours mine and ours i want to thank all of you for being here for uh, participating in this beautiful practice here today uh gaia especially thank you so much that moon, the beautiful sun, and all of our collective brothers and sisters for doing this work. And one last um, intention that we send out pulses of light to those that are still, um, still in their slumber, not yet awoken, and those that are awakening, that you feel this energy and that you are guided to the light to connect with your guides and guardians so that you may meet with us in the future. And with that, I want to say goodbye and thank you. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of uh, April 2021, a beautiful new moon. Uh, love and blessings to you. Just take your time. Sit here in the space for a little bit. Uh, feel into your body and take any notes um, of anything that may have come up for you to help you um, understand uh, or get information from this practice. And again, don't forget to tune into this before you go to sleep tonight um, so you can get back into that space and, and do this a little bit more. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for being here. I love you dearly. Infinite love and blessings. Bye for now. <laughs>